Joker's real identity has always been a secret, and throughout the character's history, his real identity has been hinted at with a few names like Jack Napier, Redmond Hood, Jack White, and my personal favorite, Joe Kerr. His origin is also never definitive, as the Clown Prince of Crime himself has said before that if he'll have an origin story, he'll prefer it to be multiple choice. But it turns out that none of this is true, as Alfred was the Joker the entire time. Now for context, Batman is witnessing his own funeral through a near-death experience. And throughout the comics, several different heroes and villains attend Batman's funeral. Heroes like Robin and Superman reminisce some of the greatest qualities about Batman, while each of the villains share how they killed the Batman. However, after everyone shares their stories, Alfred comes up to the stand to share a story about Batman. Alfred's story begins in Alfred's early years as an excellent actor on stage, thriving for the excitement of the crowd and rapidly growing his career. But it all comes to a grinding halt as Alfred's father passes away, leading Alfred to take his father's place as the Wayne's butler. Once once becoming the butlers of the Waynes, he would work to the best of his abilities to be the best butler imaginable. But one night, everything would change after Bruce's parents would end up gunned down in Crime Alley. After this, Alfred over the years would help train Bruce to become the Batman, but over time, Alfred would realize that Bruce was a terrible crime fighter and that he was starting to lose his grasp on his sanity. So instead of Alfred getting Bruce the proper help he needed, Alfred instead called up his old acting crew to develop roles to give Bruce purpose. Alfred would create roles like the Riddler, Penguin, Catwoman, and Two-Face, and over time it started to work wonders with Bruce's mental health, believing himself to be an actual superhero. Alfred would even create his own role to be Batman's Moby Dick to his Ahab, applying makeup, changing his posture, and giving a real big smile to become the Joker. And Alfred gave the performance of a lifetime for many years as the Joker. However, one night Bruce would find Alfred's Joker kit, telling Alfred he knows about it all and that Alfred hired his crew to pretend to be the villains. Bruce would then be furious with Alfred that he'd been lied to this entire time, but Alfred would reply that since he knows that all of it was never true, maybe he can finally end the Batman. But Bruce would refuse, stating that even if the evil he fought was never real, it was still real to him and possibly many others that look up to Batman. So for him, it can never end. And while talking, Bruce sees the bat signal light up, so he starts to head out as Batman, but Alfred feels that something is wrong because he didn't call the bat signal tonight. Later, Batman arrives to the Gotham Zoo to a hostage situation involving the Riddler. But Batman knowing who he truly is, he tells Eddie that the game is over. However, Eddie became so consumed by the role of the Riddler that he now believes himself to actually be him. Batman moves forward, insisting Eddie gives him the gun, but Eddie screams out loud that he is the Riddler as he screams. What dresses in green has a big black question mark on on its chest and is going to kill Batman right now. Batman would then softly tell Eddie to put down the gun, and with a moment of hesitation from Eddie, he shoots and kills Batman. And stunned from killing him, he asks out loud, did he do that? Afterwards, Alfred says that he took Nash to the asylum, the real one, and that he brought Batman to his funeral right after, as he walks off, ending the story. I hope you guys like the story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side.